everybody welcome back Ruben Texas all water fishing and today we're gonna change it up a little bit today today um, Chad and myself we're gonna head over to the Bolivar side and team up with uh, do a little volunteer work with saltwater soul shore patrol if you're not familiar with them they have their link I have their link below their Instagram link below you should check them out um, Billy Ray with saltwater soul started this shore cleanup so we're gonna go across Bolivar and do our part and help clean up some of our coastal area. So thanks for coming back and stay tuned. So what made you start doing this, Billy? Um, I inspired myself, no one inspired me. Uh, I'm an avid angler. I'm in the water all the time. I paddle board, I, I surf, I uh, kayak, I, uh, I boat, I wade. And uh, if this ain't disgust, and it's just disgust, and I'm like, man, someone's got a spearhead. I have a brand called Saltwater Soap. So I use that as leverage uh, so people would listen to me because if I was just anybody else, they just don't listen. So once you've, uh, uh, I monetized on, on using the name Saltwater Soap. So I created Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol because we patrol the shores. And what happened now, it's uh, spawned into several other people being inspired by coming out and cleaning in, in their hometown at their boat ramp. Uh, and, and they take five gallon buckets and they spend five minutes to pick it up and everybody's putting their time in. And by, if we can knock this uh, out by 15%, we win. Um, the county can only do so much. The city can only do so much. And uh, as you see out here, before we pulled up, there were zero trash cans, nowhere to throw the trash. People, people are, people need guidance. They need a trash can there that says trash for people to dump the trash in it. Here, again, there was zero trash cans when we pulled up, as you saw when you came up with me. So, anyways, that's pretty much that up in a nutshell. And uh, if you want to get involved with us, uh, <clears throat> go to Instagram, Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol, and that's Shore Patrol, Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol on Instagram, and. Uh, Follow us on there. Give us a, a DM. Uh, drop an email. We'll put you on the list. All right. Thanks, Billy. Mm -hmm. Now, I've literally just started cleaning this trash maybe three minutes. And Get you can see what you can do in that amount of time. I, I made it maybe eight feet. Eight feet? Eight feet. <laughs> That's, That's eight, crazy. That's just eight feet of trash right here. Wow. Is there another one? A boot? A matching pair? There's never two. You know, you always just find the one. Look at all this fishing line. I mean, we have been here, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. And it's just crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Golly, that's gross. Those fish scales? Looks like it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So today we're cleaning up, it's about 500, 500 feet, you said? Uh, 200, 250, 250 east, each, each, each side. side, yeah. It's about 500 feet. Yeah, and also what this is, this looks like uh, some construction to houses and it also uh, uh, dead bait bags. So oh, we're yeah. using dead bait to uh, discard it, uh, playing the water. And we, even live bait guys, looks like, or uh, artificial guys, are throwing goat bags 
up in here. So the solution to this is find out where does this come from. A, it's coming from people fishing, fishermen, and it's also coming from a, it's coming from tide lines. And uh, that's another thing that we're going to be cleaning up tide lines out there in the bay. If you look over here, Ruben, look how clean it is. You see, you see how, see how smooth that is? Yep. Okay. This trash doesn't come in from there, from the, uh, from the uh, channel. This is from people fishing the bridge. It says no fishing from from the bridge. There's zero cans here, and this is human. This is fishermen and people who visit this spot are doing this. This isn't blamed on uh, a store or a uh, company or anything like that. This is this is people coming out here and doing this right here, dropping the fish line. Like this is a, like it's uncalled for, man. And, and we're gonna put a stop to it, man. So you had you had some sponsors, right? You had some people donating. Yeah, yeah, we have uh, we have a bunch of sponsors out there. Um, uh, Eric Simmons with uh, uh, Simmons Rigging, uh, John Bowen with Elite Diesel. I've got uh, Gracie's downtown. Uh, Mrs. Bassett, Mr. Bassett on uh, Chalmers uh, Hardware. Uh, we got uh, Tom Vaughn, who's also a partner with Solar Soul. They don't uh, Top Gear with uh, Keith Bassett. Uh, they donated all the shirts and hats uh, for this. Uh, for this pickup. Stacy Cruz came in and several people came in with sanitizers, gloves, commercial bags, buckets, barrels, um, knives, scissors, pliers, all the things that we need. And uh, if you want to donate, you can also uh, stop by our store at 53rd Street. It's a big green building right there. It's 1019 53rd Street. Come on by, drop off your supplies and uh, write your name down so you get some kind of credit on it. You know, it's all you you doing that's just as good as coming out here and picking it up uh, you know lady called me and said Bill, Bill Ray I'm 71 years old I can't bend over and pick up trash it's I just can't do that but I can uh, bake and I said bake she said I can bake a cake and send it to you guys uh, strawberry cake and cream I'm like you know what when that time comes because uh, uh, it's probably short notice now said on uh, next one I said that's just as good as coming cleaning out you know what I mean it's a reward uh, at the end uh, get the one of your cakes uh, so uh, we'll accept that too as well and cookies so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so again and uh, I want to thank you uh, to all the magazines and all the uh, the media coming out and uh, mentioning this you know it's not to make money it's all volunteer no one gets paid to do this so that's another thing I ain't getting paid to do this I do this in between my solar so and my fencing and uh, my personal time but uh, I'm spearheading it, and with people like you, Ruben, coming out and filming it and putting this, uh, putting this out there for everybody to see, man, is uh, a blessing. So I thank you. Absolutely. And, uh, now, you know, I'm 50 years old, and, I, and I'm, I said this is it. You know, I, I'm I'm gonna make a move on it, and uh, and uh, I don't do it by myself. Like I said, I've got yeah. plenty of people helping me, and uh, it's going viral. So thanks again, man. Thanks. So how long have we been out here? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? And that's one. That's 20 minutes while we got everything out. That's, that's one. And that's not including all these buckets. <clears throat> so again, about 20 minutes of work. Just getting all this done. Damn. Unreal. Somebody's like house trash, huh? Unreal. I don't, I don't understand. So they said it takes 600 years to that mono line to break down. Well, look what it does. That it's is a, just it's a beautiful spot, too. Tony, how many buckets you filled up up there, bro? In, I got in, three buckets already. Three. Three buckets in three 15 buckets. minutes. Little Fallon, how many buckets you got up there? This is my third. Third bucket. We've been here 21 minutes. Look at that. It's like four bottles of beer right here. I'll, I'll underneath. Just under, but it was I'll underneath. It was underneath the growth, you know. We got the corona look, over look, here. look at all this beer. It's the the ground has taken it back, and you just got another one. Good, Isn't that crazy? Yep. All underneath here. Oh yeah, you get those batteries out, man. That's the worst. Batteries are bad. Yes, man. you don't want no batteries shit. in there. Yep. And then you eat those fish. Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh damn. What'd you say? That one area. How much? This is that one area. One, this that's maybe a ten by ten. 10 by 10 foot area by the bridge. All bottles. Jake, what do you need, Mama?
got it anyway. Especial. Check it out, oh, baby. There you go. Oh. We got the find of the day. Man, I wonder why they threw it away. Is it real? Is it Shimano? Real, bro. No. eBay, $5. 10 bearings. 10 bearings. Still good. Does it crank? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. You got a nice little reel. So I was just talking to Cody over yep. here, and uh, he was telling me about some of the stuff that he does. So, Cody, could you repeat some of that for me? Yeah, so my name's Cody Dunn. I work for Sea Star Base Galveston, and uh, I kind of focus on kids with disabilities. So this, this uh, summer, or this year alone, I've had probably 500 kids with disabilities as far as uh, I had 31 of them that had cancer in the past. So uh, I took all them fishing. Their parents went upstairs in our facilities, and they did parenting things. Yeah, they did, I guess, adult things. You know, they had some food and drinks, watched a few videos and stuff, and all the kids were down on the docks being kids, fishing, you know, and having a good time, screaming and yelling when they were catching fish. Everybody caught multiple fish. I do Wounded Warriors. I've had uh, the uh, the Moody uh, Transitional Learning Center. They were fishing with me three weeks ago, or two weeks ago, I think. I had 10 of them. They had brain injuries uh, as far as like strokes, car accidents and stuff, and they, they were fishing and before they had their accidents. and. Uh, and uh, they've wanted to go fishing ever since, you know, so I, I got with them and I let them come out of my docks and uh, we went fishing. They all caught multiple fish. We didn't catch anything big that day, but they all caught fish and we're just super grateful. And uh, so I had, I think altogether this summer, I had 1,200 kids that just wanted to come and learn how to fish with me during our summer camps. That's awesome. So we, on our summer camps, we do, they can stay with us five days and five nights. Uh, food included, but they can do uh, they, they do scuba intro to scuba one day. They'll do kayaking one day They do sailing one day then they'll do an all-day fishing trip with, with with me and swimming and and so on so uh, So if, that's if, what we do at Sea Star Base. Basically. So if anybody wants to find you where can they uh, look you yeah, up? Sea Star Base Galveston on Facebook, seastarbase.com. Uh, you can look at my Facebook page Cody Dunn and uh, That's where to find us. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Welcome. Alright, so Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. That's gonna wrap it up today. I'm out here with Billy Ray doing uh, Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol. So how often do you do this, Billy? Um, we try to get uh, about three a month. And then personally, uh, I'll call a couple pro staff and then we'll do it uh, during the week. Once in the morning somewhere or when we're driving, we just pull over and do a hot spot, we call it. We pull over, we grab some five gallon buckets, we talk to some fishermen and get them involved. So we're doing it pretty much like four times a week. And these heavy ones like this, this is probably the worst one that I've seen and it still needs to be uh, cleaned more. Um, we do, uh, in the, well, this is what we're doing. In, in our forecast, we're forecasting probably seven more this month. Um, maybe two big ones like this. And if you wanna uh, stay tuned and follow us, go to Solar So Shore Patrol Instagram. And on there, we'll post dates. And I'm going through my Billy Ray Wagner page, which is clogged up to 5,000 people. On Facebook. On Facebook, but I, uh, uh, we reach out to that and then once I do it people are sharing it so it's getting around and uh, our shops at 53rd Street in Galveston 1019 53rd Street if you got some supplies you want to donate five gallon drums barrels buckets uh, whatever come on down sanitation soap if you want to donate come by the shop and uh, talk to Lindsay up in the front and uh, she'll take your name email and give you props for coming out and helping us yep thank you Billy. you can also check out Texas all water fishing our Instagram our Facebook We'll uh, continue to volunteer and help uh, Bill Ray and Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol. So we'll keep you posted, um, any news or any events that are taking place as well. So 
Thank you all. Hopefully next time, y'all catch us hooking up.